Okay, so we're halfway into Motorcycle Live and we're trying to bring you some of the best uh, highlights of the show and some of the best machines and we'd be remiss if we didn't mention this, which is the new Husqvarna Spark P-Lin 701. 701. 701. Baby. Yeah. And this is, this is a cool bike. Okay, really, very... really sort of like launched on the back of the... Uh, of the popularity of the Vic PLN 701, yeah. which just looks a phenomenal bike. I'm personally a massive fan, and especially this one as well, which just gives a bit more of a relaxed riding style, I think, Mark, doesn't it? Well, we've worked out, haven't we, having done a little bit of research, that Spark yes. PLN apparently uh, translates into Black Shadow. Black Arrow. Black Arrow. Black Arrow. Well, I've got it wrong to start with, <laughs> which explains the colorway. Yes. And the, and, the, and the kind of the overall aesthetic. But it it's, looks very sleek, doesn't it, Mark? Oh, I mean, it's a phenomenal looking bit of kit, isn't it, isn't to be it? fair? Um, Neo Retro? <laughs> Neo Retro, whatever that means. Yeah, I'm, I not, don't. I'm not entirely sure. I, I mean, it's, it's one it, of the it, words that's sort of slung, back, uh, slung around with this type of bike and with yeah. this particular machine, right? Well, Honda were doing something similar when they were talking about their new CB, CB1000R. They call that, I think, Neo Sports Cafe. Okay. So this Neo wording is something that's proving to be pretty popular, isn't it? And it's got, I think they're trying to find a way to articulate this combination of sort of classic street trackery silhouette with some sort of modern twists your sort of halo headlight is one similarity between this and that honda and just the overall kind of very sort of flat kind of style and aesthetic of the bike overall but it is a really nice thing based on the standard vip pillen vip pillen 701 yeah. yeah um so comes with the everyone i talk to rides that bike absolutely yeah. loves it well, i think I the mean, motor having... is the, the kind of key factor isn't it in yeah. fairness that, that that single cylinder um 600 i think 690 cc 75 so, horsepower 75 i don't know what the torque figures are but yeah you, which is great which actually is a lovely amount of power to yeah. ride on the road isn't it you I, know, th I think in the, in the real world neck, have a real good time yeah. you know some some of the bikes are just too powerful this one you can ring its neck have a real good time on the road it's going to handle really well yeah. Oh, yeah. Black I, arrow. Hopefully, that means it's going to handle something. It's well, got, it, it's you know, motors low slung, low centre of gravity. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think you're quite right when you talk about you know we're obviously going to look at some of the other uh, more high powered motorcycles that have been launched uh, over the last couple of months. Ducati, the the, the new BMW S1000R. Right? You're talking 200 plus horsepower bikes. You know, the reality is you can't use that kind of performance on the road, can you? Not really. Not, not really. Not, well, not not and keep your license. Not you if know. you ride like me. Yeah, I, I know that for certain. But uh, you know, I think I think the trick with this is you, you know you've got a level of power which you can absolutely wring the neck off, can't you? Yeah, yeah. You know, and that, I think that's kind of like you say with people we've spoken to who've ridden this bike. You know, you can really have some fun with it. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's got a quick shifter, so it's got some modern features too. You know. Yeah, it's absolutely. A single, but it's got some. It's got some really nice modern features. We, we quick probably, shifter. Probably ought to borrow one of these. We. It? Yeah, we definitely should borrow one of these. Because yeah, essentially, it's, it, it, the parent company across the street here, KTM, yep. a lot of the componentry that comes onto this bike comes off their their Duke 690, I think. Yeah. Um, so there are some, you know, there's some real sort of family lineage there, isn't there? And I know that everybody speaks incredibly highly of that 690 bike as a, th as a single seal and a thumper. Yeah. And we've got some experience with that, not on this yeah, power right. level. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure it makes a, a huge amount of fun to ride the bike. We'll have to wait and see. Absolutely, and you know what, this bike is, it, it, it's really beautiful, I have to say, I absolutely love it. I don't know what, it, it, maybe they do something here with the lighting, but it just uh, kind of um, strikes me as a super angular, super well considered, nice design. It's, well, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're it looks really, great. They, they created a lot of interest when... when really the, nicely finished yeah. as well. Well, when yeah. they relaunched Escobar, I mean, after we took him, what, two or three years ago, we, we were looking at these bikes, certainly at the NEC last year, weren't we? And that the kind of standard Vitpillen bike is a really interesting looking motorcycle. Yeah. It's a really interesting take on a modern bike. Mm. And they've kind of taken it up a notch with the Spark Pillen, haven't they? They've just kind of make mm. it a bit more sleek, a bit more Knight Rider-ish. <laughs> 1980s reference there for those of us who are a little bit older. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's re relatively expensive bike, Mark, isn't it? I, that is the one, 10 grand, isn't it's it, the one bike. area where you think, and, and often we talk about this. I remember us having a conversation um, when we were talking about the new Ducati Scrambler at, at uh, Intermot and you know, yes. nine, ten thousand pounds. There are a lot of bikes in that area where, you know, we looked at Yamaha's MTO 9 SP today, didn't we? And we, you know, it goes without saying. We talk about Kawasaki 900 RS. We're huge fans of that bike. You get, you are getting into that area, aren't well, you? We are, but, about... the, but this would be a genuine competitor for a, a Ducati, Ducati Scrambler, right? Yeah, I mean, certainly in terms of wise. Yeah, totally. price, looks. If somebody's after something really stylish, something with a real kind of, you know. Um, impact on the road, it, you know, it, it's 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 out there, isn't it? It's definitely it a standout is. standout choice in that area. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I don't know about you, Mark, but I'm a real fan of this new Spark Pitlin uh, I think, 701. I, I think the proof's in the pudding is now. I think I'd be very curious to see how it gets down the road. That's the next thing for us. I think we tend to look at the bikes that are gonna, are gonna pique our interest in terms of what we wanna have a go on next, sure. but it's definitely one of the, the ones on the shortlist, no doubt about that. Too right.